right, today, again, I'm Carl Hamlin with the Durham Fire Department. We're talking about portable anchors. We're going to talk about the traditional method of the one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one portable anchor system. Um, when we're talking about anchors or portable anchors, mainly pickets. Remember, a single picket, uh, its weight rating is around 700 pounds. A one-to-one, -one, which would be a single picket with another picket directly behind it, would be 1,400 pounds. And then the one-to-one-to-one, -to -one -to -one, which is actually what we're going to show, is rated around 2,000 pounds. I can tell you there's been studies out that they're exceeding 6,000 pounds of pull with these. We're going to demonstrate a pull with our load cell that we've got. Um, we will only go up to around 2,000 pounds, but we'll show you utilizing webbing um, how the first picket and the second picket, they'll, they'll, they'll be really tight but between the second picket and the third picket, it'll still be loose, and you'll see as we go on. So, main thing when we talk about pickets, we have to think about our soil types. With our soil types, uh, that's gonna affect a lot of our strengths. Um, typically, what we run into around here is we run into class A type soil. We, have, we deal with a lot of clay here in North Carolina. Um, some of the things that we have to think about, though, is, is the soil previously disturbed? You know, is it a sandy or loamy type soil? So as our classifications start dropping, we're actually going to lose our, our, our weight. Um, so you know, if, if a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one is 2,000 pounds in type A soil, setting up a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one in type C soil is probably going to drop our, our weight uh, ratio down a little bit. So something that we have to think about, something we have to keep in mind. So when we're doing pickets, remember, Whichever way our line falls, wherever the fall line is, or direction of pull, we want a 15 degree angle away from, from that direction. So for this training uh, video, our direction of pull is gonna be this direction. So we're gonna do a 15 degree angle. Now how do we figure out 15 degrees? Does it have to be perfect? No, we wanna be somewhere somewhere close. We don't want a 45 degree, you know, but we, we don't want it straight up and down. So one good way of finding our 15 degree is Take the picket, place it at the back of your heel, and you're going to push it where it's right over, right over the top of your toe. That right there is pretty close to 15 degrees. This is where we want. Again, this is our, 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 our the way our line is falling, our direction of pull. So we want to angle it away from that direction. So I'm going to get Ken Bar to come in to actually drive this picket. Now with our new post drivers, picket drivers. You're not going to be able to put it all the way in. showing so we know we're good at that point. Now we're going to grab our second picket, keeping our picket in line with our pull. We're going to load it, lay the head right up against it. Here's the tip. Pick it up. Again, our distance should be the length of our picket. Now we're ready to start driving our next. We've got our three pickets set. Again, a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one system. Um, what we're going to show you is utilizing webbing instead of the old half-inch rope traditional method. Webbing we're going to have, we're going to carry with us. It's lighter, it's more compact than having to carry a couple sections of either 20 or 30 foot half-inch rope. 
So with this webbing, we're gonna have three pieces of webbing. Again, purple, they're 20 feet. They're solely for the use for this picket system. We're gonna come somewhere in the center of our webbing. We're gonna create just a simple clove hitch, okay? We've got a clove, clove hitch done. We're gonna slide it all the way down to the bottom. Now, one thing we've never done is we've never integrated the bottom of our picket system. One thing to think about is, by integrating the bottom of our picket systems, if for some reason we lose this first picket, it's actually gonna catch our system. So we're not gonna have a total loss of our anchor points. So, clove hitch will come to our middle picket. We're just gonna put a couple of round turns. Try to just keep it snug. We're going to come back here. On one end, you're just going to put a simple overhand on the bike. Doesn't even have to be anything fancy. Overhand on the bike. We're going to come on this last picket. We're going to put one round turn. We're gonna feed our webbing through our overhand, and we're just gonna snug it down. Once we get it snug, we're gonna put a couple of half hitches, overhand knots, will be sufficient. Two half hitches, two half hitches is really sufficient. That's all it is to the bottom. Now we've integrated the bottom. Again, you'll see there's, there is a little bit of slack. That's fine. So we're gonna take our next piece of webbing. We're gonna to go top of the front picket to the bottom of our middle picket. Now with this, come right in here, do a simple, again, another overhand on the bike. Come down a couple of inches. We're gonna put a clove. Clove is gonna go right between these two duplex nails. Now we're gonna go to the bottom. Now when we go to the bottom, we wanna make sure that we integrate or run our webbing inside this bottom piece. That way it's gonna help secure it. Okay, go to the bottom, to the top. Again, we're gonna integrate it, bottom. Put an extra round turn on it, be fine. And then we're gonna come right here where we did our overhand on the bike. We're just gonna snug it up. Again, two high pitches will be fine. Same thing with our last piece. We'll go from the top of the middle to the bottom of our third piece. Again, overhand on the bike. Club hitch. Between the duplex, we're gonna go to the bottom. Capture just inside again, because we want to try to capture it. Top, to the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna capture it. Put an extra round turn on it. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'll feed it through. Overhand on the bike. Snug it up, too happy. Very simple system. That's all it is to it. Now, all we'd have to do is, we'll get a short piece of webbing. We're gonna integrate with our bottom right here so it's all captured again. If for some reason we have, we have a catastrophic failure, we lose this first picket, everything's gonna be tied in. 
Now we've got our one-to-one -one picket system set up. We've got us a short piece of webbing. Again, we're just going to do a, a simple rat three pull two. Remember, we want to integrate. We want to integrate everything with this bottom webbing. Press a knot up, pull these other two opposite of our knot. And now we're going to clip our system in right here. All right, we're going to do a pull test just so everyone can see how the webbing actually starts to set uh, on the pickets. We're using a Rock Exotica load cell. It's only rated for uh, 10 kilonewtons. So when we get up to around 22,000 pounds, I'm going to tell everybody to stop. But you'll see how the webbing on between the second and third picket really hasn't set itself yet. So guys, if y'all ready to pull, start an easy haul. If you can actually look and see that first picket starting to pull and set. Easy, easy, easy. Yep, easy. We're getting close to 10. Real easy. Right there, stop. We just hit 10 kilonewtons, which is a around 2,200 pounds. Um, since our systems, or since this rocket Exotica load sales only set for 10 kilonewtons we're not going to do a full a full load set but what you, what you can actually see is if you notice that first picket actually started to set in you'll see how the bottom webbing's kind of snug the top webbing between the first and the second are snug but if you look between the second and the third it's still got a little play in it especially play down in the bottom uh, this top it's starting to snug up, so that means our picket is starting to set, but you see there's still just a little bit of play. So we still have a lot that we could actually pull and put on this. I don't want to overload our load cell, but just for visual purposes, everybody can see how simple this system is. You can see we pulled up 2,000 pounds, no problem. Again, load tests have been done on this exact same system. Uh, they're in excess of 6,000 pounds. So if you figure if you had a two-person load, a victim and a rescuer, that's 600 pounds. Uh, divide that by 6,000 or 6,000 divided by that. It still gives you a 10 to 1 um, safety factor, which is what we're looking for industry standard-wise. Okay, guys, you can let go. Um, so this system's well within our 10 to 1 safety factor. This system is going to give us plenty of what we need as far as our portable anchor system. So with our picket puller, you might have to uh, move it around a couple different directions to make sure um, what works and what doesn't work. Sometimes they're really, really eat, uh, tough soil to drive in, makes it easier to pull out. Softer soil to drive in, it's gonna make it a little bit difficult to pull out. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> Simple as that. Let's get this next one. 